Let's see how nested while loop works in C. So I'll take two variables count1 and initialize it to 0. I'll take another variable count2. I won't initialize it yet. I'll initialize it before starting the nested while loop. So first while loop keeps on executing until count1 is less than or equal to 5. So I'll print that out onto the console window and I'll increment the value of count by 1. Okay. So execute this and check uh, it prints out 1, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. So I'll write the nested while loop and take count 2 here. So I'll, I'll assign a value of 2 to count 2 variable. Every time the outer while loop execute, executes, the count 2 variable gets initialized to 2. So I'll, I'll take some space here and then print out the value of count 2 just to separate the values of in uh, printed values of inner while loop as well as outer while loop. So I'll decrement the value of count 2 until count 2 becomes 0. Remember count 2 is initialized to 2 so I'll decrement the value so that count 2 becomes 0 and comes out of inner while loop. Okay, let me execute it. So 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. So inner while loop is 2, 1. So let me change this to 1 here. And I'll bring this print printf statement above this inner while loop. Just to make it clear. Make it look clear in the output window. So the first line 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 is the outer loop. And the inner while loop 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1. After each outer loop execution, the inner loop continues and executes fully. So 1, 3, 2, 1, 2, 3, 2, 1, 3, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 5, 3, 2, 1. So this is how nested while loop works in C programming. For every loop, loop that is the outer loop, for every outer loop execution, the inner while loop completely executes. Thanks for watching. Please visit the link present in the description section of this YouTube video. Uh, stay subscribed to our YouTube channel and blog and please share this video with your friends online and please do not forget to like this video on YouTube. Thank you.